Welcome in. How are you doing today? Uh, as you can see, I have a new microphone and it sounds horribly. Correct? I, I mean, you are used to having a relatively fine sound from me. So, what the hell, Dart? What, what are you doing here? I actually also have my window open and there is a main street uh, just behind me and it's now 10 p.m. so maybe not that many cars behind me but there will be some cars uh, during this recording. So this recording is not really about this microphone uh, but about the software for voice processing. Uh, however I do need to tell you which microphone it is simply so you can have uh, some opinions about all of this that I'm going to show you. So this is the XDM100 uh, Rode microphone. It is the USB uh, connected microphone which is supposed to have some kind of internal processing uh, which is controlled unfortunately via Rode uh, proprietary software that hooks up or installs to your proprietary operating system. So naturally if you have uh, linux then it's a no-go you get just the raw sound from the microphone and you cannot really use its processing power inside this microphone if you're using it on linux so it is what it is the default settings of this microphone is no processing whatsoever and its gain is amplified to the max so that's why everything sounds so horribly uh, you can also hear me like uh, clicking on my mouse yeah also i mean you, I, I i cannot bump on it that much i can click normally you can hear it right uh you can also hear my mouth and I'm not even close. Uh, one of the good things about this microphone is that it has automatic gain control. So if I go all of the way up to the microphone, I can give you some uh, some of the uh, radio voice uh, kind of a thing. And I don't need to adjust the volume. It simply adjusts the volume on its own. Uh, of course, my the color of my voice is going to sound really different when I move away from the microphone, but the volume stays relatively on the same level. Of course, it will go down when as I go back because it can't really amplify me that much, but it will give you uh, a chance to roll around and do some stuff when you're streaming or recording. It's not really that sensitive to being always on top like the rest of the dynamic microphones are. And uh, this is a dynamic microphone. Uh, so let's go to, to this video. Um, this is Easy FX. Uh, and let's just go straight to the end game. Let's turn on everything that I have configured so far. Far. There we go. I have now turned on the easy effects and you should be able to hear uh, pretty much what uh, I have been uh, setting up uh, on easy effects. Let me just turn it off one more time so you can hear uh, this microphone being raw. Yeah, it's, it's raw. Uh, let me just check. I don't have my monitor on. Uh, yes, it's, it's, it's raw. Okay, now it's all already enabled. Uh, let me go to, I don't know, noise reduction. Can we disable this and this and this and this and this? Uh, so stereo tools, that part is really not important. You can hear me on both of your ears because my OBS is recording. My OBS is converting from mono to stereo, so you don't really have to listen to me just on one ear, that would be annoying. Uh, so I have now enabled this one and you'd get no difference, of course, because OBS is handling that. Um, exciter, that one is something that I have noticed on Rode Unify software. Uh, I don't 
really know how it works but it kind of feels that uh, if my voice is a little bit more crispy or something i don't know i have just enabled it and if you can hear the difference well done uh if you if you can't then all good uh speech processor so this one is really important uh i have just enabled it so this one has denoise automatic gain control voice detection de reverberation so let me uh disable de reverberation and now you're going to be able to hear uh, if not a lot, but at least a little bit of my voice bouncing around these walls, which are flat and not totally not treated. Uh, so now I'm going to enable the uh, reverberation again, and it should be a little bit better in terms of echo around me. Uh, the voice detection is what what it's saying, right? It, it is going to work. Uh, it is going to be more focused on when I'm speaking instead of bumping around to on, on my desk. Uh, and now it's enabled again. Automatic gain control. Um, this one may not be that needed uh, because this microphone is doing this part, but it's nice to have additional gain control um, if you simply don't want to bother too much with adjusting your microphone. Uh, I love to be focused on my streaming, on my content, on my recording, on the lessons that we are doing uh, on our Sunday streams and stuff like that and I don't really want to be focused on the microphone uh, on its own so let me enable uh, automatic gain control again and then we have the noise so the noise is supposed to uh, cover up a little bit of my um, well, no noise around me uh, I'm not sure how much you can hear you can't hear anything because voice detection is enabled but if we disable voice detection now you can hear noise okay now let me enable the noise without voice detection all clear all clear very nice right let me uh, bring back the voice detection again um, so you have some settings for voice activity probability uh, this could be tuned depending on what your voice sounds like I think and maybe how loud you speak or stuff like that uh, but generally the default settings seems to be fine at least for my voice uh, noise suppression how deep you want to suppress uh, the noise in decibels uh, also there is something called deep noise remover so let me go back and remove voice detection and denoise now it's noisy again around me now let me enable deep noise remover so you can just uh, hear how this one sounds on its own there we go you can still hear a little bit of noise can you like the deep deep um, D frequencies but uh, if we disable this one and enable noise reduction nice right very nice uh, there is some threshold here uh, the wet level the release levels um, it's um, how do I put it um, well it's noise reduction right uh, something like RN noise that you get bundled with the uh with the obs that that one is fine but this one seems to be even better even the standard model uh, you can also import the other models uh, for um, other people i haven't had time to research uh, where can i get those but the standard model is fairly fine uh, i have actually decided to combine sep several of these so i use noise reduction and deep noise removal and denoise on the speech processor and voice detection so all of this together kind of um, gives me a roughly good quality uh, end game result <laughs> uh, i'm not even sure how to express myself but all in all you can uh, save uh, your presets like you can have as many as you want so you can have one preset for this scenario one preset for that scenario uh, la 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 
uh, you can also quickly disable it um, also worth noting let me just uh, go to my obs quickly uh, this is my microphone here correct so in properties this is where you pick your microphone if you pick your microphone directly you will not get uh, any effects from easy effects you have to pick the microphone that that's labeled easy effects source and then you can tune your settings in easy effects uh, so you, you need to have this in mind also filters here i used to have noise suppression and compressor and noise gate and equalizer enabled in obs and this was pretty good for me while I was using, using Rode Procaster, uh, which was connected to my Audient Evo 4. But with Audient Evo 4, I could decrease the gain of my uh, Procaster so it wouldn't pick up all of the echo around my house. And I would just go a little bit closer to the mic and everything would be Re uh, not perfect but pretty good and then uh, the obs filters would be able to clear up the remaining of the um, crap around me however with this microphone i get a lot more noise and a lot more of literally everything around me and i really needed something much more powerful than what obs can do uh, with its built-in filters so this is a no-go for me and i did a little bit of research and i stumbled on easy effects which is um, it, it's amazing if i would be able to decrease the gain on this microphone uh, before it sends my voice via usb cable into my computer i may be able to use obs filters again but even then i have now discovered these effects and i think these are absolutely amazing and i will continue using them i like the simplicity of having everything built in into the um, obs and not really requiring external software for clearing up my voice but really it's not that big of a deal to run just one more application um, when i need to use my microphone um, also you can set it up to run your uh, default preset on launch so you, do, you don't really need to do anything like just launch easy effect and minimize it and that's it and uh, th that's how i'm using it uh, for now i think this is going to be my uh, li like an end game filters application uh, however i still would like um, if Rode could find a way for me to decrease the gain on this microphone on linux that's uh, something i wrote an email to them but this is out of the scope of this video i just wanted to show you easy effect so if you are a microphone user of any sorts on the computer it really doesn't matter if you are using the microphone just for talking to people uh, for gaming uh like multiplayer gaming or, or streaming recording uh, doing meetings with your work colleagues anything at all that involves any kind of microphone uh easy effects is something that i really really can recommend it is also free software uh so um be my guest uh, download it today you can get it uh in various ways uh via your favorite distribution repository uh, we um, flat hub and stuff like that uh, i am going to link it down below this video so uh, it will be uh, very easy for you to click and i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching and supporting my channel um yeah see you tomorrow on a live stream